This is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Friday, July 19, 2019. Looking at fire potential impacts over the next few days, today we are expecting gusty winds and low relative humidity across the southern parts of the Great Basin. Where we will also see gusty winds in the 30 to 40 mile, mile an hour range across the eastern Snake River Plain. Uh, drier and warmer weather will return today through this weekend. Over the past 24 hours, there is not much in the way of precipitation across the area and no lightning. As far as fire activity, uh, there are still quite a few fires um, in place across the Great Basin. Uh, precipitation is well below normal over the past 30 and past 60 days. Um, you can see it's really been very dry across the Great Basin. ERCs have come up significantly across the southern and central portions of the Great Basin. Uh, typically this time of year we would be seeing monsoonal conditions and that has not occurred yet and so ERCs are um, have come up quite a bit across the southern and central parts of the Great Basin. Uh, continuing to look at those ERCs, you can see um, the charts here from GB16 and GB32, um, both areas above normal and GB16 close to record high ERC values. Life field moisture is still above normal for much of the Great Basin. Um, you can see from these charts here on the right, those fuel moistures are all above average. Satellite this morning shows a low pressure system just to the north of the area. Um, and with that uh, weather disturbance to our north, we will see those gusty winds across uh, the area today. So looking um, a little more detail at today's weather pattern, again, you can see on the left uh, that weather system to our north, which will bring us those uh, gusty winds and some dryness. And as far as significant fire potential, uh, most areas on the map are in the yellow and brown category. Looking at today in a little more detail, you can see on the image on the left the areas where we are expecting those gusty winds. Uh, wind speeds will be in the 20 to 30 mile an hour range this afternoon. Uh, with pretty low relative humidities, uh, you can see across the central and southern part of the Great Basin, we will have uh, single digit relative humidities. Uh, moving into Saturday, uh, we will continue to see dry air in place across the Great Basin. However, high pressure will start to build across the area. Uh, with that high pressure building, winds will be much lighter tomorrow. You can see on that wind gust map on the left, um, some pretty light uh, winds expected tomorrow. Further south, we are still looking at winds in like maybe the 15 to 20 mile an hour range, but um, not as strong as what we're expecting today. So moving to Sunday, uh, we start to see moisture increasing across the Great Basin very slowly. Um, and with that high pressure building, we're expecting light winds again, light winds again on Sunday. Looking at that in more detail, again, you can see pretty light winds across the majority of the Great Basin. So in the next three days, really not any precipitation is expected across the area. As we move into Monday, we will see that monsoonal moisture begin to move into the southern part of the Great Basin. Uh, with the uh, beginning pushes of the monsoon, there always is a concern with those first few days of lightning um, because it's happening on fuels that are so dry, especially across the southern part of the area. So we do have a high risk issued for Monday across the southern part of the Great Basin um, with that lightning risk. As we move into Tuesday, that moisture will make its way north. You can see a much larger portion of the Great Basin is highlighted there for the um, lightning high risk. And again, um, the first couple days of monsoonal storms uh, typically pose a problem just because we're seeing lightning on some really dry fuels that are ready to burn. So um, some concern there Tuesday with uh, the monsoonal moisture pushing further northward. So on Monday, Tuesday, looking at the precipitation uh, accumulation, forecast, again, you can see that monsoonal moisture making its way up into the central and a little further north into the Great Basin. Moving into Wednesday, again, we'll still see that monsoonal moisture in place. No high risk is issued for Wednesday um, because at a certain point, these storms will become more moist and the fuels will become more moist. So moving into Thursday, we continue to see that monsoonal moisture in place across the Great Basin. Uh, with this weather pattern, we would expect another day of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. So looking at the Wednesday and Thursday uh, precipitation forecast, you can see, again, um, some more precipitation expected across the Great Basin with that monsoonal moisture in place. Looking at the seven-day precipitation totals, again, you can see they're um, starting to get some precipitation back into the central southern parts of the Great Basin with that monsoonal moisture finally uh, making its way into the area. 
In the 8 to 14 day outlook, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for above normal temperatures across the western part of the area with above normal precipitation for uh, the majority of the Great Basin. So that is, it is looking like the monsoon um, will finally uh, make, its, make its appearance into the Great Basin. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen and you can also find us on Twitter. Thank you.